With the election less than two weeks away, things are heating up, especially between those on both sides of the Proposition 8 debate. During a rally on the corner of Stockdale Highway and California Avenue this evening, tempers flared. Ken Mettler, chair of the Yes on 8 campaign, crossed the road to retrieve a sign that had been defaced by the No on 8 demonstrators. You can see in this video, a man tries to grab the signs back from Mettler. The video in the background appears to show Mettler kicking and punching the man in an apparent attempt to fight him off. No arrests were made tonight. Um, we've conducted an investigation. Um, reports will be forwarded on to the district attorney's office for follow-up. Both sides say they will not pursue any type of complaint against the other. It has already been an ugly campaign, with yard signs being damaged, destroyed, and stolen on both sides. Now the Proposition 8 debate has turned violent in Bakersfield. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Chris Van Horn. ABC 23 has obtained video showing Kern High School trustee Ken Mettler hitting a no on eight supporter. ABC 23's Felix Rodriguez Lima's live in our newsroom now with details on this ugly turn of events. Felix? Well, Chris, Ken Mettler is seen in the video striking a demonstrator in the no on Prop 8 section. He is one of the leaders of the yes on eight campaign here in Kern County, but the BPD just released a statement saying neither Mettler nor the other man, Rob Badewitz, wanted to pursue a criminal complaint against the other. Take a look at the video. This, this This video shot by demonstrators tonight at the Proposition 8 rally on Stockdale in California shows how the campaign has now turned violent. High school trustee Ken Mettler, who supports Prop 8, came over to the no on Prop 8 side of the rally to take back several signs. They were yes on 8 signs with a no painted over the yes. Are there any more of these? Uh, we got them, house. so we got them, so uh, no you can't you can't have as he tried to take another sign, Rob Badewitz got in his way, and Mettler hit him. This guy comes over, and he tries to take our signs, and then he starts walking away with them. And I, and I was like, those are our signs, you know? We shouldn't, like, and I try to, like, pull him back from him, and then he hits me in the face and kicks me. You You're took a swing of me, Mettler told ABC 23 off camera that he was assaulted first, a claim Badewitz denied. Call the cops on this yeah, because this is what the Prince of Peace would do. Mettler says he was also upset with how the No on 8 demonstrators shouted repeated profanities at him and almost trying to incite the violence. Police put multiple officers on each side of the rally to keep the peace. I mean, they have the First Amendment right to protest, and that's what we're going to allow them to do. Um, and they've been, you know, following instructions, staying safe, and that's, that's the main thing is keeping everybody safe. Police officers would not officially identify Mettler as one of the people involved in the fight, but they did question him before they let him go. I I thought it was ridiculous in the first place. I mean, like, like why do we got to be fighting over stuff like this? The BPD eventually identifying Mettler in this case. They did not take him or Badewitz into custody. Instead, they said they would refer the matter to the district attorney's office for their review. Live in the newsroom, Felix Rodriguez Lima, ABC 23 News. Our top story at 11 heated emotions at a demonstration in opposition to Proposition 8 turns into an assault, and it involves Ken Mettler, who is a board member of the Kern High School Board of Trustees and president of the Bakersfield chapter of the California Republican Assembly. Eyewitness News reporter Jose Gaspar joins us from the newsroom with more on what happened tonight. Jose? Well, Kurt, police are trying to piece together what did happen, but they do tell me an assault did take place during a confrontation between demonstrators opposing Prop 8 and with Ken Mettler, who was in favor of Prop 8. Now, that's the measure that would amend the California Constitution to limit marriage between a man and a woman. The incident was caught in videotape of one of the people in attendance. You see Ken Mettler right there. He is the one in the red shirt and blue jeans. Mettler appears to be taking signs that were altered from yes on 8 that now read no on 8. He is jeered by the crowd who shout that he is taking away their signs. And then he walks around the corner and starts heading toward a young man. In the video, which you see right there on the left-hand side, Mettler appears to strike someone and then kick him. Now, the incident was recorded from several feet away, and it is a little hard to see, but it appears to show Mettler striking someone right there. That someone turns out to be a young man who then told us his version of what happened. He just, this guy decides to come over, and um, he tried to take our, t our signs, and uh, I didn't want him to take our signs at all, so I was trying to take him back, and then he hit me. Did he say anything? No, not at all. Did you tell him anything? I was like, those are our signs. Where did he hit you? He hit me in the, the left jaw. With what? With his fist, and he kicked me as well. 
Now, as we mentioned, police say an assault did take place, but no arrests were made, nor would police say if Medler was the one who made the assault. Police say neither party involved wanted to pursue a criminal complaint against the other. We put in several calls to Ken Medler to get his side of the story, but our calls have not yet been returned. Live in the newsroom, Jose Gaspar. Kurt, back to you. Jose, thank you.